Hello everybody and welcome to some more of Eric's Blind Circle and Done Run with Ashcan Pete, Never Fail, Ashcan Pete, and Red Glove Man, Will Yorick. It's going to be a great time. Eric, why don't you read our uh, act and agenda? Red Glove Yorick. Red Glove York. I'll also note, apparently everyone lies to Carl Sanford, and oh, yeah. I did. Eric chose to lie, to lie to Carl Sanford. The Hermit. Look for answers within and not oh, honey, without. Duke. Many paths lead to the same answer. Contemplate the greater truth. Each non-weakness enemy gets plus one health. After you defeat Brown Jenkin or Nahab, Gain one clue from the token bank. Two clues instead if there are three or more investigators in the game. Interesting. Investigating the witch house. When you arrive at the old witch house, you find it in a sorrier state than you imagined. Surrounded by a crooked picket fence, the house looks as though it may fall apart at any minute. The front door is locked, but you are able to easily enter through one of the windows after pulling apart the rotten wood boards covering the shattered glass. Objective. Each undefeated investigator is in Walter Gilman's room, investigates. If each un I get it. If each undefeated investigator is in Walter Gilman's room, investigators may spend the requisite number of clues as a group to advance. And we need six? Six. Okay. We've got a four timer. So, uh, this is haunted, lose three resources if you fail investigating. Ooh. Um, and this one is the door to Walter Gilman's room is locked. We're going to need two player clues. So we're going to need, sorry, one player clue. So we're going to need two clues to get inside. Okay, so we need eight clues total. We need eight clues total. In four rounds. Oh, uh, no, just for four rounds until the agenda advances. We could be here forever if we wanted. We could just stay here. In four rounds. All right, what do you got to start us off? Oh, it's me. Um... I'm going to start off with a pretty uh, strong opener. So mm -hmm. I'm going to play Emergency Cash. Nice. Get a bunch of money. Which I'm going to immediately spend because I'm going to put down a baseball bat and a backpack. Nice. All right. So I'm going to search the top 12 cards. Oh, wait. This has oh, to yeah, be Oh, yeah, first. short supply. Yeah, short supply. So we got the Red Glove Man, Emergency Cash, Baseball Bat, Cherish Keepsake, uh, Scene of the Crime, a Knife, Graveyard Ghouls, a toe-to-toe, -to -toe, a machete, and another knife. All right, that's actually a really good... That's hey, maybe cool. we'll actually also see a, a Bury Them Deep this week. That would be cool. That would be... It feels very nice when you bury them deep. So now you get to look at the top 12 to do your backpack. Yeah, and I get to choose three... Items and supplies, but I think all your supplies are now in your discard pile. Yeah, not assets, right? Oh, uh, no, items. Items. Item assets, yeah. Yeah, 12's a lot of cards. You basically just look at, you get a look at your deck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Eric's still not done. Jesus. <laughs> oh. Oh. Um. Um. Probably a leather coat. Nice. So you're attaching a cherished keepsake, a leather coat, and a shop nurse. A shop nurse. Uh, and then that costs you... Th oh, no. You yeah, get it. You're already spent cash. it. Nice. Yeah. Oh, so I can go. Yeah. All right. I'm going to play a drawing thin. Um, I'm going to also play a rabbit's foot, which I am going to leave off camera in a few. Uh, for my last action, I am going to duke. We're going to go into this room. That's fair. After you reveal a landlord's quarters, search the encounter deck and discard pile for a swarm of rats and spawn it in the moldy halls. So this is guy, this uh, rat's going to spawn with you. Hey! Uh, which is actually really sick. So haunted, the, if I fail, we're going to search for a sw uh, swarm of rats and spawn in the moldy halls and then shuffle. I was planning on failing. Are you okay with taking two damage this turn? Yeah. Okay. All right. So that has two clues. Because I am going to go... Ah, uh, that's me. I am going to go four to four, and I'm going to choose to draw a card. Sick. All right, and we'll go four to four. I mean, maybe I'll pass. It's unlikely, but... It's unlikely. No, I do fail. So I'll draw a card, but we'll grab another rat for you and I'll to... I'll take two? Yeah, I'll take two during the enemy phase. Okay, sick. What are the windows on fast again? Uh, so for lightning bolts? 
just fast cards. Oh, fast cards. If it's an event, it'll specify when it can be played. If it's not an event. If it's an asset, yeah. that can only be played during your turn. Even if it's fast. Even if it's fast. It Brutal. just doesn't take an action. Rude. Kind of rude. Kind of rude. Should have right. grabbed bandages. Well, I'll draw a card. Oh, hello. I'm also getting attacked. Oh. All right, so I'll get attacked. Uh, you'll get attacked. Here, you can take mine. Thank you. And then we can go upkeep. Sick. It's a bit annoying. All right, bong, and you get your first evil card of the day. Oh, I'm so excited. I missed this. Extra dimensional visions. Revelation, test two brain. This card gets plus one difficulty for every 10 cards in the encounter discard pile. Hey. Nice, so you're testing three to two? Three to two. And if you fail? Discard an asset I control. Oh, that's not, not too bad for you. Uh, you do fail. I do fail. I'll throw away the backpack. Nice, all right. I will draw. If Brown Jenkins is not in place, search the encounter deck and discard pile for, brain, uh, for Brown Jenkins and spawn him at your location. And then I take a damage. Okay, I'm gonna come in and save you. Don't worry, Brown Jenkins is aloof. So Brown Jenkins, he's an aloof hunter. Each ready creature enemy gets plus two fight. And when the enemy phase ends, if Brown Jenkins is ready, each investigator at his location discards his or her hand and then discards that many cards. Oh, I'm okay. going to assume that you will eventually get an Ever Vigilant and we'll be able to worry about this. I'm going to assume that's going to happen eventually, so I'm not too. I'm not going to stress about the damage yet. Yeah. Aloof and Hunter. Yes. So then this guy has... Um, Two health. But if you kill him, you get a clue. Sick. You know what? Maybe I'll kill him. Yeah. He has three attack. That is a lot. Okay. But I also might just ignore him, what I'm thinking. So I think I'm going to... Um, I don't want to mill, mill these cards. Are you uh, sure you don't want me to come and take care of this? Yeah, you have some rats. I'm going to pay off my um, mom enforcer. Oh, okay. <laughs> hey, we hear you were in the old witch house. Yeah, so I got I got the cash for you, buddy. Don't don't <laughs> worry too much. See that you do. Also, that weird mole man. You might want to avoid him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that, that mole man ain't, ain't, ain't no good. Ain't no good. That, <laughs> that ain't <mole> right. <laughs> that ain't right. I have two actions left. I don't want this guy to wheel me. But I think it's going to happen unless I, like, move in here and then duke into one of these locations. Do it. I think that's duke okay. It. So I will move in here. Uh -huh. And I will duke in here. Haunted, you must either place one of your clues on Frank Elwood's room or place one doom on the current agenda. Whew. It does not feel good to be uh, Ashcan Pete in this scenario right now. He is afraid of doors. We did establish that. I am going to go five to three. I'm actually even going to go... Whew. I'm going to go six to three. I can also help investigate this. You can. Oh, there should be two clues here. Yeah. All right. I'm not going to use my drawing thing here as much as I want to. This is not the time for it. Ooh, two minus four. So I have to place a doom on this. Oof. I do get a draw card, though. Rough start, but that's okay. That's yep. okay. All right, go for it, Eric. Okay. Um, We're going to pay two. Yep. We're going to flash in the Red Gloved Man. Nice. So that doesn't cost an action, right? Yeah. What stats are you putting up? I'm going to put up my fight, and I'm going to put up my... <laughs> I probably don't want to investigate in here. <laughs> uh, fight and my brain. Cool. Just a way to protect myself from the... Heck yeah. Mythos phase. Um, so I'm going to fight uh, using baseball uh, bat. Nice. So then you have um, eight, I think eight to three. Eight to three. Yeah. Nice. Only the auto fail gets you, and that's not one of them. Would you like to play something from your discard pile and or bury these rats deep? Um, I cannot bury the rats deep. But I will check my discard pile. I put it in my... You play it. You gotta play it. Right, right, right. I think I will play a leather coat. Nice. For free. Uh, and then we're gonna punch another rat. Heck yeah. That is reveal another token. If you fail, discard the top three cards of the encounter deck. Nope. You don't fail. Rat dead. Uh, and I will also pull something in. 
Oh, no, you can only do it once per phase. Right, that's very reasonable. Actually, once per round, not even once per phase, once per round. Sick. Okay, um, shoot. Where do I want to go? What, what's the negative on this one? This one's lose three resources. This one spawns rats. I mean, I guess I could go in there. Yeah, he will. Uh, the brown dragon will make you wheel, so you will lose your hand. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. I mean, yeah, you're Will Yorick. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Okay. Uh, enemy phase, you'll discard your hand and draw that many cards. Okay. So you got an enchanted blade and a backpack. Oh. Oh. All right. And then we get to go upkeep. Uh, goodbye, Red Glove. Oh, wait, he's here until the... Mythos phase, yes. Mythos, mythos phase. phase ends. All right, three of four, th thanks to me. So you get a card. Well, thank you. Swarm of rats. That's actually really good. Um, uh, I'll be spawning with some rats, and I'm going to take another damage. Are you going to survive? Yeah, probably not. It's just me with my baseball bat. If, <laughs> if we get an Ever Vigilant, I'll probably be okay. Okay. Okay, I'll go first, if that's cool with you. Uh, yeah. All right, I'm going to fight these rats. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to just do it with my fist. We're going to go two to three, and I'm going to get two resources. Sick. I need some money. I might have to actually come get you. Maybe. We'll see. I No, I think I can deal with the rats. Mm, for other reasons. Oh, we have an Ever Vigilant? I have a solemn vow. Oh, that's the thing, solemn vow. That's what I meant when I was saying that. Yeah, that would be nice. Uh, minus two, if you fail in Nahab's your location, she attacks you. Nahab is not at my location. We're good. Oh, these guys actually have... I was actually five, because these guys have that more juice with them. Yeah. All right, my next action... Oh, I got to draw a card with this. That's a good draw. I'm going to use Duke to attack. Uh-huh. And we're going to attack at four to three. Sick. I'll get some of those zeros eventually. I might have been really low, really big modifiers for this. Yeah, you've been in a bad place. Plus one. Dead rats, because Duke rats. deals plus one damage. Sick. So the rats are gone. They also only have one health. Uh, they get plus one. Right. I think I just gain a resource for my last action. I haven't been doing much, but we'll get there. Oh, yeah, and he's gone. Nice. All right, Eric, you're good to go. <sighs> I probably punch the rats and then come help you. Yeah, yeah. I think mm, that's great. But I won't have enough actions. Oh, it's fast. Never mind. Nice. Uh, you have six to three. Yeah, you hit. Yeah, I still hit. Yeah. And I kill. And you kill. What would you like to play? Ooh, I'm going to play... Not a red gloved man. Um, maybe a Schaffner's? Schaffners are always sick. I could use the Schaffners if you do decide that. Yeah, why don't I? Nice. Beauty. Hey, Mole Man. Not today. Not today. One, two, and then Myriad out, Solemn Bow. Nice. Fast this out. I'm going to transfer a damage to your coat if that's cool with you. Sick. Do it. That's what my coat is for. All right. I'm feeling a lot, I'm feeling a lot better now. That's, that's a huge get. Okay. Um, this guy moves here. We gotta go upkeep. Grat man. And then, uh, crap. Oh my god, Justin. I think these all, I tap all, I exhaust all assets I control. These don't ready. Uh, I mean, I'm getting through my, my weaknesses now. You are. There you go. Uh, uh, you can read the other side. It's, oh, it's right, thank game. you. As you explore the old dilapidated house, the telltale, the telltale scratching and scurrying that is happening to my friend, Ashcan Pete, That's not me. the walls, becomes louder and more frequent. Every now and again, a fanged furry creature darts out across the wooden floor, scampering, and, scampering in and out of the rat holes in the walls. You wonder if this house is more rat than wood. If Brown Jenkins is in play, search the encounter deck and discard pile for a swarm of rats and spawn it in his location. Um, additionally, yeah, we're good. Okay. Uh, yeah. The descriptions of the darting little furry object, which served as her familiar, were so painfully realistic, despite their incredible details. H.P. Lovecraft, The Dreams in the Witch House. Each non-weakness enemy gets plus two health. After you defeat Brown Jenkin or Nahab, gain one clue from the token bank. Alright. Okay, so the rats are just getting stronger. The rats are just getting bigger. What's your evil card? Oh, right. Rats? No. Oh my god. Just fuck up through your card. Um, minus one to each of my skills during the first skill test I perform. Cool. 
All right, I'm gonna test four to three. Um, uh, for, it's I discard a random card in my hand for each point I fail by. It gets plus one for each. Um, copy this in the discard pile, but there are none, so we're just gonna go four to three. Okay. I pass. Sick. Okay, so what are we thinking? You want to send some more damage my way? I can't because this is actually currently exhausted. Mm, okay. If we can get rid of this, I could do it for two actions, or you could do it, and then I could work on getting some clues this turn. Uh, yeah, why don't we do that? Okay. That seems more reasonable. And then these things can come at me later. Sure. They'll come, yeah, they'll come at you in the enemy yeah. phase. Something I'm going to do is I'll do those two actions first to get rid of that. Thank you. And then um, I think what I'm going to do is... Ooh. I don't love that that's going to put me at a minus. Oh well. Not much I can do about for that. You, for, each, yeah, for each one you perform. I think what I'll do is I'll spend two to put out some bandages as well to help you out. Oh nice. Super. I mean also good for you because we're about to get bit. We're about to get bit. Alright so I want to play as many assets as I can this turn. Mm -hmm. Because of the shit that's about to go down. I don't know what shit that is. Oh, him. Yeah. Yeah. We're about to wheel. So I think what I want to do is I think I want to pay five. Mm -hmm. We're going to play a scavenging. I don't know how likely it is it's going to trigger, but we're also going to more importantly play this Granny Orn. We love Granny. We do. She's really good. I think for my next trick, I'm going to be discarding this card anyway. So let's do it like this. I'm going to discard this Lucky to Ready Duke. Uh -huh. And then I'm going to investigate this location. We're going to go five to three. And I'm going to commit this pocket multi-tool and this deduction. So we are going five to the game's three. You know what? I actually think... No, 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 no. no I can't. I don't have an action to play it. This isn't the upgraded one. Right. Five to three. Nice. Okay. Nice. nice. So I get to grab two clues because of the deduction. Mm -hmm. I get to scavenge, but I don't think there's a reason to unless I want to like use the opportunity to draw more cards. So I think I will scavenge back this ice pick just to discard it and get it again next turn. Okay. Okay. And then we go enemy phase. These guys move in. The rat do the chomp. Yep. I will lose my leather coat. This guy's aloof. Right. And then we will discard our hand and then draw that many cards. Can't wait to get ghouls. Oh, wait, they're already in the graveyard. <clears throat> maybe, yeah, maybe you'll hit your signature with this. Or you'll hit your other weaknesses that you put into your deck by believing the fortune teller. I'm not bitter. <laughs> uh, then we got to go upkeep. We got to go upkeep. Right. All right, Bon. Boom. Uh, I think this turn... Um, oh, uh, evil cards. We'll, have to, we'll right, see that. Because right. then, then we'll build our plan to see what yeah. else has changed. Put evil past into play in your threat area if there is no copy. When the encounter deck runs out, take two horror and test brain three. When the encounter deck runs out. Nice. Okay. Uh, I got pulled by the stars. It goes in my threat area. At the end of my turn, if I die, move at least once during my turn, I take two horror. Luckily, moving is like part of my investigation package. So it's yeah. actually pretty And chill. you've already cleared the room. Yes. All right. Um, what are you thinking now? What are you thinking? I'm thinking I'm going to go on a murder spree. Yeah. Who do you want to kill? Everybody? I'm going to kill everybody. Even Brown Jenkin? I think so. All right. Is cool. there any reason not to kill him? I mean, you have to deal six damage because they all get plus two health. So it might be a bit harder. I mean... Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. But yeah, why don't you start killing? I have Granny Orn to help do some backup. Sure. Um, and I got bandages, so I'm willing to just go to town on rats. Okay. Um, yeah, so I guess for my first attack, I'll go three to six. Six to three? Six to three? Six to three. Heck yeah. Swing away. Oh no, your bat breaks. But do I fail? No, minus one. No. Okay. So two damage on the rats. Fat breaks. Fat breaks. Okay. Um, Hit again. Four to, four to three. three. Not as strong. Granny will help you if, if need be. Okay. 
Can't help you with that one. I'll try one more time. Heck yeah. Brown Jenkins. And then just... We want to hit, so... Oh, let's go! So it. now you can get the uh, a weapon out of your discard pile again. Yeah, I think I'll take the baseball bat back. Seems good. I was going to get the red glove man, but... Yeah, I mean a weapon. Uh, do you want to pay off your Schaffners if you wanted? Oh, sure. You don't need it anymore? No, because my stuff's in my discard pile. I think I need to just keep on moving. That's fair. All right. Um... So I think what I'm actually going to do is a little bit oh. cheeky. No, oh, nice. Wait, no, I don't have enough actions. No. Speaking uh, of cheeky. No, I no, attacked you three failed, times. No, because you failed on the sec uh, second attack. Yeah. All right. I'm going to do a little bit a uh, little bit of a cheeky guy here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to investigate. I'm sorry, I'm going to do this brain test. We're going to go four to three. I'm going to go four to five, and I'm going to gain two resources. Interesting. Cheeky. Just a little bit cheeky. So four to five. Ah, oh, fuck it. I'll get rid of it. Sick. Cheeky. Now we're in the never fail mode. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna let it stay. I wanna draw the card instead. I value the card more than getting rid of that. Works for me. That's a good draw. Wrecked evil past. <laughs> I'm losing it. Listen, I lied to an old man today. <laughs> That's my evil past. Stop moving me. Oh, we look so similar. We're both wearing a brown coat. We are both wearing a brown coat. And, <laughs> and probably holding... jeans. Yeah. All right, I'm going to duke into this location for my third action, and we're going to investigate at five to the game's two. We both use our hands. We both have ears, only one. It's true. We're both holding, like, a, a, a long stick. Yeah. Mine just has a guitar on the end of it. Minus two. I suppose I pass, huh? Yeah. Um, I'm sorry. I don't get to use Granny Orm for that. I guess I just pass. I'm sorry. Actually, yeah, it's it's okay. How many clues do we need? A million? Holy Eight. cow. There's going to be some on Walter Gilman's room, luckily. All right, uh, enemy phase. No attacks, but you do have to wheel your hand. Oh, God, that's right. Goodbye, the tower. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's this, sorry. Uh, when, if it's discards his or her hand... Okay, I actually don't think you get to discard this. That because it has to, it's only discard when it's random, I think. But I'll just Google it. Can Brown Jenkins make you discard weakens, uh, weaknesses? Arkham the Tower. Let's just search. The Tower! I don't think he does, because I think you can only do it when you discard it randomly. Oh, one second. Oh. Oh. This the review is actually talking about me. <laughs> <laughs> I just watched Justin from playing board games and his gauntlet challenge with Limit Carl facing this guy and question arouse, which neither he nor people in chat could answer correctly. This is inception. If Brown Jenkins would force the discard if his force would trigger and the and the came to the up was no because only randomly discard weaknesses can leave hand. But that's not what the rule says. All right. Okay. This is so interesting. I an entry. I'm just here for Justin's existential crisis. It says roughly that it can discard weaknesses even if the player. That's actually honestly like the first time this has happened to me. I you would love think, it. you know, you think it would happen more, but. And this is only five months ago. This is pretty recent. Wow. Thank you. Past. All right. So someone is saying that the cards would be discarded. So you choose it, um, you're not making a choice. So you can't choose to discard a random, but you're actually not making the choice to. It's happening. So I say go for it. And you just draw a new card. Sick. All right, have we done our upkeep? No. No. All right, upkeep. God, I'm going to wheel through my deck. That's actually the worst for me. That's, yeah, that's what the scenario does. All right, two of six. I promise I'm going to pick up my pace soon. That's okay. Uh, what do you got? Rats, 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 rats. 
Fuck it. <laughs> Sorry. No, you can swear. Um, put Realm of Torment into play in your threat area. When your turn begins, resolve each haunted ability oh, on your location. Oh, shit, that's so bad. When your turn ends, test Brain 3. If you succeed, discard Realm of Torment. All right, so this one is you're going to be placing a Doom on the agenda. Yup. So we've lost two turns. Do you need rats? I do. Okay, I will spawn some rats for you this turn, then. Thank you. All right, test brain two. It gets one plus one difficulty for every ten cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we're going to go um, four to two. Man, that sucks. Minus two. We're good. Okay. All right, let me go first. Do it. And where do they spawn? They spawn here? Yeah. Thank goodness. Okay. All right, well, we're going to investigate. Oh, frick. Okay, so I think this is actually the correct course of action. I spend three, and I play a pocket multi-tool. So this has spring-loaded, so when I fail a test, I can exhaust this to get plus one. Sick. I'm going to leave this off camera. Actually, no, this one's relevant enough to stay on camera. Um, I'm going to investigate this location and we're going to draw thin. So we're going to go two to four. Tick. I'm going to gain two resources. We're getting killed by this house. This house is fucking us up for sure. Yeah. Auto fail. Uh, so I'll draw a card and I'll spawn some rats here. Bless. Bless. I'll draw a card. That's a good draw. Um... Oh, that really changes things, doesn't it? You're coming in to fight these rats this time, I right? I am. I need to. Okay. There's so much more going on here than you are not aware of. Perfect. Oh, do you have a thing? You have your weakness, don't you? I can't tell you anything. You, you know, I, I've, I've cracked the code. Am I okay with taking two horror? I could try to get rid of it. This is my last action, though. I kind of want to get this clue. Yeah, I'm going to just investigate with Duke. I'm going to take two horror, but that's just life. So I'm going to investigate at five to two. Five to two. Yes. Well done. Thank you. I'll take two horror. Oof. That's going to go on my good friend, Grandma. Grandma ah! Duke. I'm going to put one on Grandma, one on me. Grandma Duke. All right, go for it. Well, out of doom. That sucks. Go here, which engages. Does that automatically engage the rats? Or it do does, I have to yeah. Engage it'll them? automatically engage because they are not aloof. Bless. Okay, so I've got two actions remaining. First, we're going to swing with the baseball bat. Good luck. Thank you. Two damage. Yep. Swing with the baseball bat again. Good luck. Baseball bat broken, but this guy's gone. Which means I will play the baseball bat again for two. Oh, I'll play the other baseball bat. Because you can't play the yes. one that broke, but there are two in there. But you can just play that one. Because okay. there are two in there. I'll show people at home just to... Then... Hey! Bury those rats deep! And, and your signature? Sign this is not your signature weakness. Your other one. All right, let's go! Oh. All right, these guys then move in here and you wheel. Yep. Let me go upkeep. I know you're in a weird place as you keep wheeling your hand, but how likely are you to have a scene of the crime in your hand by chance right now? Exceptionally likely. Okay, that's really good then. Let's uh, let's do that then. <laughs> that's what we're going to do. We'll go four to six. What do you got? Uh, test brain four. If I fail, put oh, terror... Oh, so you have to do this test first. Right. You're testing... Uh, Okay, so technically you had minus one to your first bat swing, but you drew a zero. Just yeah, to keep, so, I still so then this it. will you this won't figure. You'll go three to three here. You fail. I fail. And then Oh, that might surge. Test brain four. Minus one. Uh, so it goes next to the thing, but you now fail by three or more. So you don't have to surge. Oh boy, a rat for me? You shouldn't have. Um, yeah, I'll find a rat. There's only three rats in here. We've just keep recycling these three that we've killed again and again. I know, it's quite alarming. 
Okay, that's annoying. I cannot help you with them at this on this turn. I will be spending my entire turn damage? getting these two clues. Unless you can get them. Because I will be losing money because of... Oh, yeah. And you can only play it as your first action, so you actually can't. Yeah. Okay, so then we have to change our plan. So why don't you come in here and help me with these rats, maybe? Happily. Sure, that'll be my action. I'm going to lose all my money. Oh, you don't have a weapon, though, because you're bat broke, either. I played it, though. I oh, yeah, you it. played it. Yeah, you played your other one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to come in. Nice. Claim the rats. Let's see if we can kill them in one hit. Baseball bat plus vicious blow. Seems great. Nope. No, I think you did. Because you have seven. Seven. Minus four. They only have three. Seven minus five. Oh, right. Uh, no, because you took a test already this turn. Did I? Yeah, it's each round. You took the test with right, the... Right, right, um, right. Yeah, I did. The terror in the night. Oh, thank goodness. You're right. So you do actually kill them. I do actually kill them. And you get to play something. With my zero dollars, I will find something. If you want to grab your coat, I can move some stuff onto it. Happily. All right, I'll move a damage onto it. Okay. Okay. And then, when my turn ends... Oh, uh, what is that? Brain. Is that a spectral? Yes. Here, I'll give you plus three. Interesting. So you're six to three. Nice. Oh, thank you. Yeah, no, no, that card's killer. That card's killer. It has literally been killing me. Yep. Along with Brown Jenkins. Okay, how do we do this? Brown Jenkins. Am I okay with a wheel? Are you? Honestly, I think I might be. But I need to get clues. Uh -huh. Cuz we're about to enter our third agenda. Well, we have one more round before we enter the third. Yes. Yeah. We're not getting through this. It's going to be tight. It's going to be tight for sure. Uh, let me just... Every time I go to the witch house, Justin. It's always bad. This is the hard scenario you warned me about, right? No, this one's actually usually pretty chill. Oh. I got off to a bad start. Me too. Yeah, I mean, that's actually pretty normal for this scenario. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're about to get a deck cycle. But don't worry, this guy allows you to keep refilling your graveyard, so you're actually not going to yeah. have to like go through okay. that weird transition period. You just might see your weaknesses again and again. <sighs> Should have killed him when I had the chance. I mean, we've been man. seeing rats every turn, pretty much. Yeah. I've killed a lot of rats. I'm not a good person. How do I fucking do this? Okay. Hear me out. I'm hearing. I'm going to spend two. Uh-huh. This is not the right choice. Then don't do it. But I'm doing it. Okay, then do it. When does Haunted trigger... I need to get into the, the, the rules here. Arkham Horror. You need to get into the stack? Yes, exactly. Oh, stack triggers. When does Haunted trigger? Is it when you fail or after you fail? When does Haunted trigger? My keyboard is getting worse. So it's very hard for me to type. Rules. All right, is haunted on here? I see. Haunted. 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 Haunted is a new ability that appears in some locations. Each time an investigator fails a skill test while investigating location, after applying all result, after applying all results for that skill test, that's huge. It's the last thing that happens. Okay, Eric, I stand by this. Okay. All right, we're gonna do this. I am gonna spend two to play this upgraded dig deep. So at the start of round. Uh, it replenishes its resources, and I can spend these resources as plus one foot or plus one brain. Sick. And I also can uh, spend my resources for my resource pool. For my second action, I'm going to test this racked. Okay. Um, and I think I'm going to go uh, seven to three. I want to get rid of that for you. Sick. Thank you. No Look at problem. us. Seven to three. Elder sign effect. Ready, Duke. Duke's not. Re uh, wasn't even down. All right, that's gone. Oh, thank you. Whoops. All right, I am then for my last action gonna use Duke to move into here. Uh -huh. 
That's you. Uh, so we're going to investigate five to four, but I'm going to go five to six. Five to six. I drew this card. Uh, Eric, I'm going to choose you. Okay. So you get to choose one. You either get to draw, discard a card in your hand at random and take immediate action, or lose an action during your next turn and then draw three cards. Immediately take an action as if it was my turn. Yeah, just you just gonna take an action. What would I even want to do? I will, and I'll gain a resource. Nice. Okay, so you discard a card at random from your hand. Yep. I'll just choose one. This one. See another crime. Well, that's what I was playing for, but that's okay. That's okay. All right. Um. So now I'm testing at what was it? Five to six. Five to six. All right. Yeah, when the enemy phase ends. Minus one. So we're four to six. So I'm going to spend two to play a look what I found to discover two clues at my location. The haunt will then trigger and I'll lose three resources, but I have nothing to lose. Yes! Yes! Taking one back from the witch house. Let's go. And then actually we can get in here next turn. No, we can't. Uh, we can. We can do the two clues, and then I can get the last clues off that, probably. Oh, okay. Good, good, good. I did move this turn. Um, this guy is going to wheel me, though. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I also got a rabbit's foot. So I would have wheeled one more card. So I'm just going to discard one, then draw one, because oh. it's kind of the same thing. And then we got to go upkeep. Is he worth any victory? No. All right, Eric. What's your evil card? Doom, 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 racked. It's back, baby. It's back. Um, I test brain five, and if I fail, I put disquieting dreams into my play into my threat area. Then my turn discard the top card in the counter deck. When the counter deck runs out of cards, I discard this card and reveal the top ten cards in my deck. I draw each weakness revealed and discard each other card. I'll test uh, seven to five. Okay. Get this dig deep. I pass. Is there any reason for me not to kill Brown Jenkin? No. If you want to kill him, go for it. He does have, uh, he is in that little weird awkward position though, but I think we can actually potentially get here this turn. Yeah. So why don't we see how my turn goes and we can kind of go from there. That's kind of my thought as well. I actually want to get him in the room with us. <laughs> this little rodent man clearly just wants friends. That's why he keeps trying to take my shit. Yep. And I just want him to come with us for the journey. Are you cool if I maybe, or should I wait until you get, no, you're about to do a deck reshuffle. So I'll yeah. wait until next turn. I mean, I actually can do it, like, at the end of the enemy phase. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to uh, use Duke to move into this location. Sick. Spending so I'll two spend clues. spend two clues. And this is a four shroud. Draw three cards and take a horror. Limit once per game. Haunted. Discard the top two cards of the encounter deck. Ah, uh, but there's not enough clues. Wait, there is. There is. There Just is, yeah. enough. There is, yeah. All right, um, so I'm going to investigate, but I'm going to increase it by two. So we're going to go five to six again, but I'm going to have two resources. Never fail. Never fail. Unless I want to. <laughs> unless it's time. Or it's like the first three rounds of the game and I'm just fucking sucking. Auto fail? Not on my watch. It will actually trigger. I think. Sorry, one second. So it's a six shroud location. Okay, I do fail. Um, all right. I'm gonna investigate for my last action and I'm gonna commit, commit this scavenging, this resourceful, this lucky rabbit's foot. And I'm going to investigate at five to four. Sick. You know what, I think this scavenging is gonna stay with me. We're gonna go four to four. Sick. Minus one. I fail, but I'll do another look what I found. Sick. Grab these clues. So we can advance this turn. I think we probably will. Yeah, why don't you... It's uh, We can do it whenever. So why don't you come in and let's do it. Yeah. So I'll go... Oh, I get a resourceful back. I'm going to resourceful back this um, ice pick. Oh, no, I failed. I failed. Why did I commit the resourceful to that? I should have commit the... 
other thing. That's I'll, gain another, I'll get a resource. Oh, sorry, let's advance first. Oh, yeah, sure. Why don't you reveal that? Thank you. Standing in a dead man's room is disconcerting enough, but what you find within it is enough to make you want to leave and never return. Walter Gilman's journal is filled with descriptions of his dreams and visions, each more terrifying and perplexing than the last. I saw a turnip. <laughs> turnip, I... it spooked me. The turnip had a face of the devil. <laughs> <laughs> That's the last one. They were all only slightly more perplexing yes. than that. Yeah. Uh, he mentioned seeing the figure of Kezia Mason, turnip, face yeah. of the devil on more than one occasion, and at one point calls her by her by another name, Nahab. Yeah. As soon as you read the name aloud, the nearby window shatters, and an all-too-familiar spectral mist invades the cramped place. When it recedes, everything about the room has changed. A work desk and an aged bookshelf occupy the far corner of Gilman's room, where his bed should be. The door you entered from is gone. Strange geometrical markings drawn with a sticky red substance. Jam. Mm -hmm. Cover the walls. It's always jam. It's always jam. Swalter, Wal Swalter, Walter. Swap Walter Gilman's room with the set aside Kezia's room. Taking its place, all tokens and cards at the former location are now at the new location. Good, or else we'd be dead. Yeah, that's true. Remove each other location and play from the game. Brown Jenkins. He didn't get to join us. Nope. Choose an investigator to take control of the set-aside, the black book asset. Shuffle both set-asides copies of Strange Geometry into the encounter deck. It's probably me. I'll let you look at it, though. Yeah, it's you. Yeah. That's a sick card. All right, I'll take it. Beyond the Witch House. Among the books in this strange room is a black, nameless tome inscribed with dried red blood. Oh, it was blood. No, it, it was jam. Oh, yeah, because the other one was sticky. Yeah. It matches a description from Walter Gilman's journal of a tome he names The Black Book. This room must be the haunt of Kezia Mason from over 200 years ago. It is rumored that Kezia had discovered deep mathematical truths that allowed her to, trans to traverse space and time. Perhaps you can find a way out using this knowledge. Only investigators in the Witch House Ruins may spend the requisite number of clues as a group to advance. All right, you have one action left. So this one is, after you successfully investigate Kezia's room, instead of discovering clues, put the top card of the Unknown Places deck into play unrevealed, then you may move to that location. And the Haunted is discard cards from the top of the encounter deck until a hex is discarded, then draw that card. Brutal. Okay, for my last action. Oh, we're about to pop off, huh? Mm-hmm. I have to investigate three to two? I'm just gonna gain a resource. Cool. I'm gonna coward my way through it. Heck yeah. All right, upkeep. All right, Eric, you can flip that. Shoot. A dizzying violet light emerges from the crevice of the ramshackle house. Behind cracks in the wooden paneling and underneath the floor bathing you from every angle, an inhuman squeal mocks you as a figure emerges from the witch light. Only a hint of humanity remains in her crooked and broken form. The crone cackles with a nightmarish timbler, timber, her voice echoing and resounding from the realm beyond. If it is act two, spawn the set-aside Nahab in Kezia's room. Shuffle both set-aside copies of Ghostly Presence into the encounter deck. Find Brown Jenkin, even if he is out of play, and place him in Nahab's current location. All right, so she doesn't have a loof. Yep. Uh, so this one is now each non-weakness enemy gets plus three health, and then after defeat Brown Jenkins and a hop, gain a clue. But we have eight doom. We're fucked. <laughs> is there another one after this? There is another one after that. Oh, thank bless. Plus three health. Oh, and she's then, at five. Yeah. So, well, she also, I guess, she gets a do not remove doom from Nahab and the gen advances. She gets plus X fight where X is the current agenda. So she has four fight. Yeah. Um, would you like to take her? I would. Alright, and then you get your evil cards for the turn. I do. Oh, but... He's aloof. But end of the enemy phase, right? Oh, uh, no, because that was the... We're still in the middle's phase. Oh, so you're okay. good. You're in the clear. If Nahab is in play, ready her, resolve her hunter keyword, and she attacks each investigator at her location. If Nahab is at the site of sacrifice, place one doom on her as well. That's not very cash money. Nope, so she's going to hit us both. Yeah. Uh, do you mind if I use some of your bandages? Yeah, please do. 
Uh, I will also use one of my bandages to avoid that damage, but I can't avoid the brain. Take two horror. Nice. I'll take that two horror. I resolve the haunted on each uh, location, so I'm going to discard cards until a hex is revealed. I cannot trigger action abilities on stuff I control. Duke! And then that's going to surge into another one of these pulled by the stars. So I'm going to need to get rid of that in the near future. That is very fair. All right. Uh, I'll investigate, if that's cool with you. I'm yeah. going to just like pro try to progress the game. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go four to three. I'm going to be a little busy for a while. Whacking rats. Wish she was a rat. I will put this, and I will move to it. Sick. Uh, Court of the Great Old Ones, a not-too-distant future. Forced, after you enter Court of the Great Old Ones, test brain three, first point fail by take a horror. The next action you perform, this uh, must be an investigate. Okay. That's pretty sick. So I'm going to test this brain. Mm -hmm. So I have six to the game's three. Sick. Uh, I'll go seven, because I have this. This thing, I pass it. This thing is sick, this black book, but it kind of ruins my ice pick loop. So I might sacrifice this because I think we need to ice pick loop. Okay. Uh, for my second action, I'm gonna just investigate. Um, I'm gonna go, actually, you know what? I'm gonna do this. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get this bedeviled out of here or try to anyway. We're gonna go seven to three. This is gone. Nice. Um, and then for my last action, I'm going to actually use Duke, and we're going to investigate at four, five, six to the game's three. Um, I did move this turn. Yeah, we'll go six to three. Nice. Nice. Uh, I am going to scavenge back this ice pick, and I'm going to grab a clue. Nice. Okay. Oh, shoot. I spent all my clues. Ten to one. All right, Eric, go for it. Okay. Um... Oh, do I do the smart move or the, or the risky move? I guess my first action, I'm going to try and punch her. Oh, she's got retaliate. It's four, five, six, seven, down to six. Yeah. You're doing just a regular punch or you're doing the baseball bat? Baseball oh. bat. Six to four. I mean, I probably should have stayed because I had Granny online. Breaks the baseball bat. But you do hit her for two damage. Yeah. Uh, that's gone. Okay. Then, we're gonna try to evade her. Nice. So, three to three, four, five. Five to three. Oh, sorry, this should be down to one, because we used it twice. Oh. She doesn't have alert. That's brutal for me. I was gonna use that to get rid of Racked. Mm, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Brutal. Oh, God. Okay. She's got a three attack, four attack. Yeah. And you're about to take three horror. Two from her and one from shuffling your deck. Yeah. And this is when this runs out? Oh, you are not in a good place. I'm in a hot mess. Um, I think the best option I have is to try to evade her again. I agree. Three to three. Three to three. Eee, this is sticky. Plus one, that's huge. Unfortunately, I can't use the action. No, but that's okay. But that's okay. All right, I'm going to probably come back and help you this turn, I think. Oh, thank you. I can at least give you some emotional support. Oh. All right, this guy wheels you, so you're going to take a horror from reshuffling. Yep. I will draw a card. I'm going to get ghouls. Don't say that. It's ghoul time. Baseball bat. Yeah, because you don't have any weapons at all right now. No, I don't. So you get to draw for that, and you get to draw for your upkeep as well. And then the hob stands up. Okay. All right. 
We're a one of eight. What's your evil card? Not ready for this. Strange Geometry. Put Strange Geometry into play and move to it. After the investigation phase ends, discard Strange Geometry and move each investigator and enemy here to the location with the most clues. Each investigator who moved by this effect takes one horror and one damage. All right, I have a Centuries of Secrets. I'm gonna just spend two of these, I think. So we're gonna go um, eight to five. Uh, minus three, we're okay. Okay, I don't know if I can help you anymore. It's okay, don't worry about it. I'm gonna I'm gonna try and do my best. Sure. Okay, so on my turn, just hide my cards. She has what, five health? Yeah. Okay, you're gonna punch her? No, unexpected courage to evade. So you are four to three? Four to three. Heartbreak. I'm gonna try to evade her again. Three to three. She attacks you. Oh. That you, ruins everything for me. You might be dead, aren't you? I'm pretty much dead. Oh my god, it's just me? Yeah. It's just the Ashcan Peach Show? Uh, she's not even got any victory. Um, well, I'm going to give you a fighting chance, so I'm going to go down swinging. Uh, no, yeah, it's going to be a cost, so she's going to attack you before you can even... Because you have to do the cost on this, so she's going to attack you before you actually get to resolve the card, I think. Oof. Okay, I can't do that you. then. I guess I'm just gonna try and punch her then. Heck yeah! Heck yeah! Uh, no, I'm gonna try and dodge her one more time. Okay, four to three. And you still died a horror to this, but that's okay. Uh, you don't die. Okay, I can come save you. Yeah. I can actually save you. So she's evaded. She's evaded. I'm here. I might be able to make something work. Okay. <laughs> okay. At this point, though, how much are we spending to keep me alive? Everything. You are important as part of the team. <laughs> You're an important member of the of the of the power squad. Okay. <laughs> how do I do this? Does it even connect? I don't think it can. Um. Oh yeah, no, I can't. Yeah, the only way to do is go one. No, but they're not connected at all. They're not connected. I'm dead. You are dead. Yeah. What is this? This is at the, um, when the investigation phase ends. So she's not going to come in and get me. Okay, so then I can s not stress a little bit. Yeah. All right. I'm going to spend one. Luke Robinson, why have you done this to me? And I'm going to play this ice pick. Mm hmm And I'm going to investigate... with Duke. So we're gonna go four, five, six, seven to three. Sorry. It's okay. <sighs> oh, we're in trouble. Nice, so I'm gonna grab two clues by discarding this ice pick. Nice. And I am gonna scavenge back That pocket multi-tool I got rid of. Oh, she's actually way stronger, isn't she? No, no, no. She's just that strong. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, no, she should be... No, she's not a... She's, she's not, not a creature. A creature. Oh, she's not a creature. I was like, oh, I've been actually getting murdered by her no, every No, 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 no. I've been, I've been watching for that. All right. Uh, my next action is going to be... I think I just investigate at six to three. Nice. Nice. Uh, with Granny Orn. It's nice. Yes. So I'm at four clues. Now, if I die, you get to just investigate it. You, you go no, for it. I still got to get ten. Still got to get ten. All right. I'm going to discard these, these track shoes. I actually kind of maybe want to play those. I'm going to discard this scavenging to ready Duke. Uh -huh. And then I'm going to use Duke to move in here and investigate. So I'm going to go six to three. Okay. That's okay. That's okay. It's okay. It is. It's totally fine. 
And other lies we tell ourselves. <laughs> I should have scavenged on the second one. That was a bit dumb on me. Okay. Um, you're dead. I'm dead. Rest in peace. You're gonna, we're going to log some mental trauma for you. Yep. We see now the difference between um, when uh, the baseball bat breaks and when it doesn't. We do. Because in that scenario before this, it never broke. Never which broke. Was really nice for you. It was. Okay, how do I survive this? I have to, mil I have to wheel my hand. Mm -hmm. That's a huge draw. Holy shit. <laughs> Gotta go upkeep. I'm about to get all my shit back. I'm only worried about the horror, the oh, horror you're about gone. to take. Okay. Um, two of eight. She doesn't attack you? No, because she was exhausted. Right. You saved the day. Oh, bless. All right. I'm going to... So I have four, five, six. I'm going to go eight to five. Nice. Ready, Duke? He's already ready. Okay. I could, have, I could have done with some of those stars. Yeah, you could have definitely. Yeah. All right, I'm going to get out this ice pick. And I'm going to bite in a hob with Duke. Sick. So she has four. I have five, six. She doesn't attack you when you play the ice pick? No, no it's, it's fast. Five. Seven. We're going to go seven to four. I believe in you. Oh, I should have drawn a card when I did that, but I didn't. Dude, I have no horror left. I'm going to probably die. That but... was, I was trying to warn you. Uh, she's dead. She takes three damage. Bless. I'm going to scavenge back the other ice pick. She, oh, sorry, I'm going to resourceful back the other nice ice yeah. pick. So she goes in here, and I gain a clue. Yeah. Okay. Big. Big. You actually have more horror than you think. That is true. No, that's actually very true. All right. I am going to fast out this ice pick. Mm -hmm. And then that I'm was... going to discard this to Ready Duke for my second action. So we're going to investigate this location. Mm -hmm. We have six to three. We have five. I'm going to scavenge back that other ice pick. Uh, I see. I'm going to put this here and move in there. Salem Jail, 1692. Test book three. If you succeed, move to any reveal location on the once per game. Haunted, move to Kezia's room. There are two clues here. Nice. Okay. I have but one action left. I think I'm going to try to get rid of one of these pulled by the stars. That's fair. Remember, he's going to come and steal your card, though. That's life. Yeah. Bad things happen to good people sometimes. Bad things happen to, to us. Actually, you know what? It's totally fine, actually. I, I'm going to go uh, uh, two, three, four, five to the game's three. Okay. Auto fail. Draw a card. Mm -hmm. So we take a horror, put it on Grandma. She's good. Ah. But Duke's more good. I do have to move back into this location, though. Yeah. Which is fine, actually. That's that's a pretty chill. Because this one doesn't have victory. I think I'm going to just hunt for victory right now. Oh, wow. Okay. I love it. You want the clock? I also need to find her room, and her room isn't until we get to the bottom four cards. Oof. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. And now I take a horror put on her already. going to do this. That's not good. That's not good. Ooh. That's not great. It's not great. I gotta go upkeep. Ooh. All right. Uh. What did you use me? <laughs> what the fuck do I do? That guy's definitely me right now. Like, huh, what the hell do I do here? <laughs> He's got your hat and everything. Yeah. So I can take an action. I discard a card at random from my hand. 
I think I just lose an action and draw three cards and hope I don't hit my weakness. If I hit my weakness, we're in trouble. Yeah. My other weakness, rather. We're good. <laughs> only get two actions next turn, though. Mm -hmm. But I only need two. So I get rid of... Uh... No, no. We're going to just ignore that, hopefully, for the rest of the game. Uh, discard cards until Hex is discarded, then draw it. Can't trigger action abilities on cards I control. Not a problem. Was hopefully to, <laughs> hopefully trying to avoid that for the rest of the game, to be honest. Oh, gods. I don't have a good plan. That's going to surge into, if Nahab is in play, otherwise spawn Nahab. That's what I was worried about. I'm back, baby, she says. Okay. Well, I think I'm going to die. <laughs> I definitely think I'm going to die. We got brutalized. We did get pretty brutalized. All right, I'm gonna try to evade Nahab. Okay. I'm gonna go. You can't use it, its ability, can you? No, this one is Lightning Bolt, oh, so sick. I totally can. I'm gonna go, honestly, give me seven to three, because I kind of have to. I kind of have to. I was really hoping she didn't come back. She's evaded. Nice yes. try, Grandma. I think I'm scared of you. I'm not scared of anything. Except for maybe just the inevitable crush of death. I'm going to go six to three on this uh, investigate. Ready, Duke. Assets cannot ready. Yeah. Um, but I do get a move, so I don't die to these this turn. Nice. A physics classroom. After you successfully investigate by two or more, discover a clue at another revealed location. No oh. One wants to go around. Okay. This guy comes in here, and I have to discard three cards, and then I draw three. Three. Oh, this is good. Oh, this is bad. Yeah, I think I'm gonna die. <laughs> I gotta go upkeep. Okay. Well, it's impressive to see how you're trying to push the game state anyways. Oh, hell yeah. I want to get this victory. I think I can do it. Okay. I think I can do it. If I can get this victory, I'm going to count it as a win. Okay. All right, let's see what we got. Uh, I'm going to go five to eight. Sorry, eight to five, eight to five. Nice. Plus one. <sighs> okay. Oh. Let's not talk about that. Right. I'm going to investigate. I have six. We're going to go... Um, I'm going to go six to four. Committing a pocket tool and a deduction to this. Six to four. I'm lucky. Oh, I did get bit for that to happen. I don't think the mob enforcer bit you. He bit me. Oh. <laughs> They're all rats here. <laughs> we have two clues. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, I'm going to move in here. He'll bite you. He'll bite me. Actually, guess what I do? No, I want to move in here. He's going to bite me. Mm -hmm. Will she engage you? She's going to engage me. <laughs> but I think for my last action... I am gonna... I want to die to damage, I think. So... Gain a resource? Or do I want to die to horror? I have less horror I can soak, but I have more horror soak in my allies. That's a great question, Eric. I got the victory, though. We're going to walk away with three, so it could definitely have been worse. It could have been a lot better. Could have been a lot better. But it definitely could have been worse. I hate the witch house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Eric did say when we were coming to this that this was their least favorite spot in all of Arkham in the second edition board game, and it's carrying over today. Arkham second edition board game. Anytime I had to go to the witch house, it was like, I'm going to get the one that causes me to lose cards and miss a turn. Every time. I mean, I can just die to both at the same time. Yeah. And I can kind of decide which one I want to do after. Works for me. I mean, I have to do it, like, I actually have to decide, like, right now. Works for nobody. Dang. Oh, 
you one second. Can I undo your damage that I dealt you? Dang. Yeah, no, that was a little bit unfortunate. All right, no resolution was issued. You're defeated by mental trauma. And I'm going to say... I was defeated by mental trauma? Yeah, yes. It was. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to give myself the physical, I think. Brutal. I did not need mental trauma. All right. Flashes of vision spark your memory as you're dragged along the dirty wooden floor. A foul ceremony, the house, Nahab, a rhythmic chant, the spiraling black vortex, a dark revelry, the primal chaos, a child's cries, a writhing tunnel inside your chest. You awaken on the muddy lawn at the base of some crooked wooden steps, the front door of the witch house looming above you. Every fiber of your being is filled with regret. You know you have failed to prevent something awful, though you're not sure exactly what. The evidence of your eyes and ears suggests that what you saw inside the witch house was not concurrent with here and now. Regardless, you've learned several things about Kezia Mason, the witch who once inhabited this old and forsaken house. With your spirit diminished and your body aching, this information will have to suffice. You dare not venture back into this infernal house. We got three VP, baby! Whoa! Was Brown Jenkins defeated at least once? No. No. Was Nahab defeated at least once? Yes. yes. We got a bonus experience. We were on Act 2. We get Gilman's journal. Additionally, one investigator may choose to add the black book. I don't think I'm going to. It kind of defeats the loop that my deck's going for. Yeah, so I don't I think don't. it's good for me, is it? All right. No, I don't think it's great for you. No. Your hand slots need to be filled with weapons. Yeah. All right, well, we each earn four experience. Mm -hmm. And we're going to go to the Wages of Sin, which, as everyone knows, is a nice, easy scenario that we never have to worry about anything about. Just a nice, easy scenario. Probably one of the easiest in the circle I'm done. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you all next time. If you've been enjoying this, please let us know down in the comments. Uh, we're going to do a better showing next week. I got off to a slow start, and Eric's bats broke at in inopportune times. Um, but I do believe. I do believe in the power of these decks. Thank you for watching, everybody. Have a good one, and as always, a GG's.